time with Emma and also welcome to another fun peachy cane challenge um, for this challenge it is another sketch challenge but a super fun sketch challenge I really thought it was it was actually really cute um, just like all the rest of them so for my card I decided to basically what it is is I just kind of got little um, if you can see the, st the sketch on my blog it's just basically like uh, rectangles in a square so I got all of those from drawers and basic shapes and my little flowers I actually got from birthday cakes and it's this set right here the little set of three of tulips another one of I really lots of one of my favorite flowers next to my little roses I love my roses and I love the Gerber Gerber daisies those are really cute those are my favorite flowers so I figure I'm going to use those. I think those will be pretty with this card. So anyhow, what I did, I'm going to start on layer on page two because there's kind of a lot of elements going on here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you this portion here. What I did was I just went ahead and got a square. And this is a 5x5 five five square from, and I got it from Georgian Basic Shapes. And I got a rectangle here. And this is sized at two and a quarter by four and three quarters and this is going to go here now what I'm going to need I'm going to need a second one so I'm going to click on my advanced tab and click on copy feature and this is going to go right next to that okay and then I got another little panel here and this panel is sized at two inches by four and a half and I'm going to need two of those as well so I'm going to click on my advanced click on copy and this one's going to layer on there and this one's going to layer like so, just like that, okay? So let's go ahead and go to page number one. Okay, so here goes page one here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off the little eyeball for the page two so you don't have to see it for right now, okay? And let me show you how I did these. Okay, so now what I did was I got another uh, square from Georgian Basic Shapes, and that one is sized at 3.75. Actually, you know what? I sized it wrong. It's supposed to be 3.5. Let me fix that right now. Okay, so I made this real dial size because I want that to be the real dial size 3.5, okay? And then I got another one here. This one's 3.25 by 3.25. Now, what I want to do, if you're working with real dial size and then you're about to work with a, a little cut from your Cricut that has um, layers on it, make sure you turn that real dial size button off, only because your layers will not come out the way they should. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and I got those cute little tulips. Oops, let me fix this right here. Okay, I got the cute little tulips, and the tulips are sized at 2.61. But if you don't have a, um, if you do not have a gypsy, you could go ahead and size them at two and a half. And that's going to go like there. And this one here is just this is the shadow, um, the shadow of the flowers. Then I just got the regular one, and they're all sized at 2.61. And then with this here, let me go ahead and click on advanced so I can show you what I did here okay on the layer button it just has where this is all that it has on the layer button so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut out one of those layers that has the three leaves on it already in green so I'm gonna hide these okay so this way only the tulips could cut out and this way I could have three different color tulips so I could have um, let me erase these so I can show you exactly what I did Okay, so I'm going to have one tulip there, and like I said, I hid the leaves because I'm going to go ahead and cut this whole thing out in green, so this way all the leaves could be green already. So what I hid the leaves, so I only have the tulip there, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my advance, and I'm going to copy that over. Oops, you know what? I copied the wrong one. Hold on. Let me go back. Okay, I'm going to make sure that's high make sure the correct items highlighted before you do what I just did um, so you're gonna go ahead and just click on the actual tulip and then you're gonna click on your copy feature 
bring it over because I need three tulips, okay? And I'm going to copy it again and bring it over. And basically, I'm just going to layer my tulips on my flowers in the different colors. I'm going to kind of use some bright, cheery colors for this one. So if I turn on, on my layer two, you can see the whole card, what it's going to look like. And like I said, it always looks like a mess when I first do it. But you'll be able to see it better um, when I throw it together. Okay, let's go ahead and see how I did that. Okay, here is the base of my card. Now what I did was I went ahead and got my ruler again. Remember how the card I did yesterday, I got my black skinny marker from American Cross. I went ahead and got my ruler and I just outlined, I don't know, I kind of like that feature. So I outlined it again on this card and then I made one right down the center. So this way my little panels could fit on there fit on there um, good. So here goes the first one. So this is what I did. The first layer I did in yellow, then the second layer I did in craft. I went ahead and ran it through my cuddle bug because you know I love, love, love my polka dots. So I ran that through my cuddle bug. So let me go ahead and, and I believe that one is called seeing spots, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and get this kind of proportion centered in here. I wanted to get it right in between the black lines there. There we go. Okay, there goes the first one. And I did the same thing to the second one. Alrighty, let me go ahead and play this one here. All right, I hope that's straight enough there. Okay, and now what I did was I got um, I got a bright green cardstock, and then I just went ahead and layered a white textured cardstock on top, and I ran that through my polka dot cuddle bug, and then I got some pretty um, my pretty pink sorbet um, twine from the twinery.com. I love that place. And I love their, uh, I love their, their twine. So, anyways, what I did, I'm not sure if this is really gonna make a difference. I haven't, I had to leave really quick, so I couldn't test this out. I'm not sure if this, if the flowers are gonna cover this all, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and take a chance and put it on anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and get this on. Now, what I did was I also put some little scotch tape behind here just to hold down the twine, so. It won't like move up and down so easily. I could have actually pop dotted this, but you know what? I'm not. I'll, just, I'll pop dot everything else. Okay, I hope that's centered enough. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look that centered. Oh well, you know what? If it's not, it's okay. There's no mistakes in paper crafting, right? Okay, now look at my cutie patootie little flowers. Aren't these so cute? Now, what I did for my flowers, I actually used, and I'm, first of all, I'm very upset right now because my desk is such a mess that I can't find my wide-eyed kids, so I wasn't too happy. But, look at what I used for the flowers. I actually used the boy mate's face. This is the same faces that I used for yesterday's card for my world's greatest nephew card, you know, the one with the little skull. So, so you could see that you could actually use these on little flowers and nobody will know that they're supposed to be little boy faces. I thought they were super cute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and throw some pop dots on here. Let's pop this, this bad boy flowers up. <laughs> Um, let me grab my, let's get my scissors, and I'm just going to cut these in half to put some off the bottom here. This way they could pop up everywhere. So they could kind of be even, Steven. Okay, so there we go. Let me get this, let me get these off really quick. Okay, got all those off now. These, I still want to keep it in the center, so let me, I'll put that like so, and the, the little, the little ribbon, I guess, could go 
it could go like that that's all right kind of looks a little off but you know what it's still cute because you can never go wrong with the peachy keen face they are the best in my eyes okay so that's that part there and of course it's missing some few items but I'll take care of that afterward um I'm going to be using one of my newest sentiments that I'll be releasing very very soon and this one is thank you this one says thank you for being so sweet so I'm gonna put this at the bottom because the sketch called for a little cute banner, so I figured, oh, this will be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I kind of just made my own banner. I could have cut one out, but I didn't. I kind of just made my own. Trimmed off the sides there. So, let's see. Oh, isn't that so beautiful? I love this one. This one's so bright and cheery thank you for being so sweet what a perfect card that is okay this is bothering me don't be surprised if this is gone in the picture I don't know maybe I don't know it's just I'm just not really feeling that right now but anyways everybody this is my card for this peachy keen challenge I hope everybody joins us um, so why don't you go ahead and just as soon as you do you do the sketch challenge you're gonna go ahead and link it up to um, the Peachy Keen blog you're gonna link it up to their site um, for an opportunity to win an awesome prize and if you're watching over at YouTube you could go ahead and head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com just to see all the details okay everybody thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you back tomorrow for another sneak peek and also don't forget to join um, my design team and myself for a Ustream tomorrow night at 6 p.m. And you could go ahead and head on over to my blog to go ahead and get the rest of the time zones. I went ahead and I listed it right below this post, okay? Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.